All right, so we'll go ahead and get things started up with our workout. So today's workout, we're gonna start off with a dynamic warm up. From there, we're moving to some shadow boxing intervals, and then from that point, move into some conditioning, some fitness drills at the very end. So each of our beginning drills, the first set is gonna be all 20 seconds each. We're gonna start off with some dynamic movements to kind of get our joints loose and warm. I will go off my timer. We'll start with 20 seconds. We're gonna go with some leg swings. So the easiest way to do this is to find a wall. You can post your hand on the wall, pick one side, focus on keeping that leg straight. We're just gonna swing straight up just like that. Make sure you got a little bit of space around you so you're not kicking over your coffee table or anything like that. We'll go 20 seconds, all on the same leg. And then once that buzzer hits, I'm going to switch over and go with the other side. So same thing here, just keeping that leg straight. Main thing here, I'm focusing on my hamstrings, getting a good dynamic stretch for those, getting those loosened up. We're gonna start here with this. After this side, I'm gonna switch over and work on opening up my hips. We're gonna work some leg circles. So from here, one side, you don't have to hold up on this one. You're just gonna rotate out just like that. Focus on getting those hips nice and loose. I'll move more center for you guys. So here, working on loosening our hips up. We got 20 seconds on this one. Once my next buzzer hits, I'm just gonna switch and go to the opposite side. So working on my hips right here. Now, same thing here. Working on making nice, big, open circles here. Just like that. And same thing like the other exercises, 20 seconds on that. On the next interval, move into a dynamic squat. And I'll give you guys the details on that one. So here, feet spaced out, I'm gonna go down, I'm touching my toes, drop into a squat, and then come upright, and raise from there. So again, into my toes, drop, and then from here, let's raise the hips back up, then come up tall. So again, toes, squat, nice and deep, hips up, and then here. Now from here, our hip flexor stretch, Stepping one foot forward, same side, hand comes up, and I'm gonna repeat, step up, open the hand up right there, and repeat just like that, go in there. This will be the last one for this part of our intervals. And now from here, once that next bell hits, everything will be 30 seconds each. We're gonna start with high knees and then run through some more higher intensity, more movement-based stuff. So here, picking those knees up, Got a good pace going. Each one of these will be 30 seconds a piece. So on this one, if you wanna add a little bit of intensity, a little bit of extra difficulty, get those punches going at the same time. Or you can just stay here with the high knees. Focus on staying light on your feet. Pull those knees up as high as you can. On the next buzzer, we'll go into butt kickers. So here, got a little bit of time left. And now, kicking our heels back behind us. Just like that, got a good pace going. And same thing, right on our toes, like we're trying to kick our heels up towards our backsides. Our next exercise after this one, we'll get in our fighting stance, we'll work some stance squats, and we'll run those legs a little bit more. So here in our stance, just a regular squat from this position. It's a great way to test and make sure your fighting stance is well balanced. So from here, just drop my hips straight down into that squat. I like to keep my hands up just to have that good habit practice there. On the next interval, same thing. We just switch sides. And now change it up to my opposite stance. The same thing, right into my squats. Here we go, good, good. Keeping a good, solid pace here. Getting those legs nice and warm, focusing on those quads. And then from here, we're gonna move in and warm up our arms, our shoulders, our chest. We're gonna go into some push-ups with the shoulder tap. So down here, push-up, tap, tap, just like that, on repeat. So here, make sure one hand opposite shoulder, repeat on the other side, and then right back in. If 
you need to modify and go from the knees, feel free to. And also on the shoulder taps, try not to rock too much back and forth. Try and stay strong and stable with your core. And now to a plank. And this will be the last 30 seconds of our warm up. Just holding nice and, st nice and steady here. Make sure that we're breathing while we hold this plank. Make sure we're level from our shoulders down to our heels. Make sure our hips aren't sagging. Also make sure our butts aren't high up in the air. Just hold right here. Activity completed. All right. So from there, our warm up is done. Now, the next part of our workout is gonna be our sh uh, shadow boxing based intervals. So on these, the way to run, we'll have a combination work for a minute, 30 seconds of a lower intensity, just moving, staying light and easy, bring our heart rate back down, and we'll repeat, just change up our combos each time. So on the next bell, pick it up. We'll start with our first combination. Our first combination today, we're working on an uppercut. So first combo is gonna be a one, two, uh, with the left uppercut, which is a five. If you're left-handed, opposite stance, one, two, five. So we'll start with that combo on our next bell. Roll from there to here. Go right into it. And the key thing here is to focus on technique. Trying to get as good of a pace in as possible. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Make sure your hands are up. Good footwork. Try and get as many punches in in this interval as possible. You can add a little bit of movement if you want to. You can work on moving forward, backwards, whatever it is. Work that combo. I want y'all to work on keeping a good high pace. Try and breathe on each punch. Make sure those hands are up and everything comes from your cheek. And also using our hips and our entire body to generate power on this. We'll go one minute here. And then we'll have a 30 second low intensity active recovery interval, which we'll is be working footwork and just moving, letting our heart rate come back down. So a minute, high intensity here. We're trying to push, trying to get that knockout. And now here, nice and light, nice and light. Got 30 seconds, just slowing things down, easy pace, focus on our footwork and work on moving forwards, moving backwards, sideways, work some pivots, just relax, catch that breath back. It's active recovery. Once the next bell hits, move to a different combo. This time we'll start with a two, three, and with the rear uppercut, six. So we have a two, three, six. Same thing here, high pace, using our core and our hips on each one of these punches. This is a powerful combo. All power shots here. So everything should have some intensity to it. Working a two, three, six. There we go, keep it going, keep it going. Stay with me on this. Try and get as much in as possible. This is your time. It's not our usual basic hour long workout. It's only gonna be about 25 minutes total start to finish. So we gotta push here. We're gonna have two, three, six. And here, back to our footwork. Nice and easy. Focus on that breathing. Hands are staying up. Our feet are, feet are in good position. Just staying light. Our next minute is gonna be our cardio round. So this next round, we'll work 20 straights, 20 uppercuts, and then 10 squats and repeat that. 20, 20, and 10. So here.
right back to. There. Finish up that last set if you need to. All right, now from here, we got a little short breather. This time, full rest for this 30 seconds. Catch no breath, just relax completely. From here, we're we'll moving to our next set of combinations. So, same thing, just different combinations. We're going to leave this one off with a one, two, three, six, and we'll end it with a lead knee. So all the way through, one, two, three, six. We'll switch the lead knee and repeat. That one, two, three, six, in with the lead knee. Here we go, keep working, keep working. Got a minute here, got to push. As many punches and, knees, punches and knees as possible in this minute. And back to our footwork this time, as we're moving, just mixing in some blocks. Here, this whole shadow boxing workout is about visualization. Like we've got a heavy bag in front of us, or a partner, or an opponent. So we're working on our movement, Mix a little bit of defense. Next minute, we're gonna go into our next combination. We'll start with three uppercuts, six, five, six, end it with a three and a rear roundhouse kick. So a six, five, six, three, and then the rear roundhouse kick. So here's six, five, six, three, and the roundhouse. You can also chamber, reset if you want to on that kick. Or you can go all the way through on it. Working at six, five, six, three, rear roundhouse kick. Back to movement, back to our footwork. Good stance, work some blocks in there. Here, like I said before, all about the visualization. We got a bag, our partner, whatever it is in front of us. We want to simulate that movement, work your movement. Light on our feet. You guys should be sweating pretty good. Now we're gonna move back to our cardio round for a minute. We've got 10, excuse me, 20 straights, 20 uppercuts, 10 squats on your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 20. Twenty. And then 10. Twenty and twenty.
20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now, full rest for this 30 seconds. What we'll do from here, after this 30 seconds, we're gonna move into our circuit training. So here, we're working purely on our conditioning. On this one, we're going to be working three, three minute rounds. Our first sequence, all uh, body weight exercises, it'll be more of a full body thing. The second three minutes will be an ab sequence. Then the final one will be more conditioning based. So we'll start things up, but just to give you a quick breakdown of it. You'll start with 12 row push ups. So push up, row, row, that's one. You have 12 of those. Then from there, you'll have 12 power lunges. So here, one leg forward, one, two, three, up to 12, and then 25 jumping jacks. And we'll do that on repeat for three minutes. So we'll start that one up on the next bell, and then we'll roll through from there. So once that bell hits, we'll start up here. We have to row push up. So push up here, push up, row, row. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Power lunges. That's twelve there as well. So here we'll make forward, up and switch. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twenty-five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Back to it as many times as possible in three minutes. Back to the push ups. Up, row, 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 row. You can do these on your knees if you need to modify. There's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Power lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, jumping jacks, 25, 30 second breather. Now, move on to our abs. On this one, we'll have butterfly sit ups. So, here, butterfly stretch position, 15 reps, like that. We'll have 10 one legged bicycles here. One, two, 10 on each side, 10 there, 10 there, and then a 20 second hold right here. So, we'll start up with the butterfly sit ups on the bell. You ready? Feet together. We have 15. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Single leg bicycles. And remember, go at your own pace. You want to definitely try and push yourself, but make sure you go at a pace you feel comfortable with. So here, elbow the opposite knee. We'll go ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing, ten on the other side. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go. Six inches position. Hold for 20 seconds. Hold here, nice and steady. Heels just off the ground. And for anything like this, this is a static hold. You wanna make sure to control your breathing. Try not to hold your breath as you hold here. Just a few seconds left. And there. Now, moving back to our, our sit-ups. So here, one, two, Three, we don't get so far. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now we've got our one-legged bicycles here, elbow to opposite knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And same thing on the other side. We got ten on the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now back to our six inches position for a 20 second hold. We'll hold for the remainder of this round. That's it, nice and strong. We'll just go until the buzzer hits and then we get a 30 second break at the end. Nice and steady, keep that core stable and strong. Make sure to breathe. And there, 30 second break. Now, Moving to our final exercise, our final sequence of exercises. This time, we'll do five Turkish get-ups per side. If you have a weight at your house, you can use a weight, but this can all also be done with just body weight. So here, you'll lay flat, one arm straight up, that same knee is bent. I'm going to sit up, close my hand behind me, lift my hips, pull my knee under, and then from here, I'm just gonna stand up, just like that. So we'll do five of those, on each side, and then 10 burpees, and then repeat. So here, laying flat, one arm straight, doesn't matter if you don't have a weight, all the way up, lift the hips, pull through here, up, and then back down. So one, two, Three, four, five. Switch, other arm up, other knee up, same thing, five. Here, up. One, two, three, four. Five. 
want you to do your five and five. For 10 burpees, and then we'll go from there. So here, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got about 40 seconds left. Let's try to get through another sequence if we can. So here, one arm is up. Same knee is up. You will sit up, put my hand behind me, lift my hips, in a standing position. Here, just like that. One more for the buzzer hits. Up. And time. All right, that was good. With that, we have completed the workout. So from here, we'll cool it down a little bit, get a little bit of a stretch in, stretch out some major muscle groups we worked on during the workout, and then we'll finish off there. So we'll work on a pretty easy, basic sequence. We'll start with butterfly stretch position. So from here, feet together. Activity completed. Just like that. Feet together, press down, get our knees as close to the ground as possible. And while we're holding the stretch, make sure to control that breathing, work on getting our heart rate back down close to where our resting level is. Now right leg straight forward, down to the toes. Make sure to keep that leg straight, hold here. And give it a couple more seconds. And switch. Same thing here. The leg that's out forward is completely straight. We'll just hold, get all of our static stretching done now at the end of the workout while we're already loose. In the beginning, it's more dynamic and movement based. Now it's just static stretches, position and hold. Now from here, we're gonna come up to our feet. If you wanna hold onto a wall or something like that, you can for bounce. Place one hand there, pull the foot behind, and hold for our quad stretch. Try to pull that heel back behind us. Make sure we're standing up nice and tall, get that good stretch going. Give it a couple more seconds. And switch. The same thing on the opposite side. Hold in there. Like I said before, focus on that breathing. Start to slow it down and relax. And now let's take one arm and bring it across the chest. Stretch the shoulders out. I've got a lot of push-ups in today. Really solid workout, lots of punches, lots, lots of push-ups. Got to stretch out the shoulders. Same thing, opposite side. seconds and relax Let's stretch out our neck muscles we'll tilt our ear down to our shoulder just hold right here no need to reach up on the head just holding right there switch same thing on the opposite side loosen our loosen up our neck muscles a little bit here and relax all right good work today with that we have completed our at-home kickboxing workout, our at-home kickboxing and MMA workout. So that was awesome. Just make sure to let me know, give me, give me some feedback. If you guys enjoy the workout, anything you like added in there, any adjustments, and we'll keep these rolling. All right, thank you.